The most relevant point of any content in DocuWare is when it's stored in our digital repository. In this case, we're storing an offer letter as part of a human resources onboarding application. Looking at the offer letter definition within the document types file cabinet, we see that a new offer letter stored will get a security level set to departmental and employee. This means that only the employee and the department manager can view it. Retention is set seven years from the separation date. Once stored, a workflow process automatically identifies and classifies the document to see who can view the document based on the security level defined and what retention policy is in effect. Let's see the process in action. We'll store the document. We'll identify key indexing information as well as the name of the person it's being sent to. We we'll use one click indexing here. And then we'll store the document. So once it's in the file cabinet, the workflow has already assigned the security level and once separation happens, it will have calculated the retention date exactly seven years as defined. Now that the document is in the repository and retention data signed, we can look at the application of these retention or deletion policies. Policy creation and administration is accomplished from our web-based configuration screen available to users with the proper privileges. Here, we see two policies already assigned. We can also see some statistical information such as what repository will be affected when it was last run, the number of items that were affected, and the next time it will run. Opening one of these policies shows us how simple they are to create. You see the repository name as well as the filter used to determine which documents will be processed. In this case, all documents which the retention date is equal to the current date will be processed. If for some reason two retention policies based on different business events are applied to the same content, a workflow can be triggered to compare the original retention date with the new one to determine which would keep the document longer and then apply the changes if necessary in order to keep the document for the proper amount of time. Retention date can be calculated based on separation date and the value specified in the document. 